Hey guys, what's up? It's Tilly here, and in today's video, we are recreating the Taylor Swift cardigan hair, makeup, and outfit from her Folklore album. So without further ado, let's just get right on into this video. First things first, we have to prime our face, so I'm using the Physician's Formula Spotlight Primer, so I'm stippling it on, and then I'm going to smooth it into my skin. And next, when we do foundation, I'm using the Silk Foundation Elixir in the shade 02 of Fair to Light, so I'm simply going to apply it to my forehead and both of my cheeks, and then I'm just going to brush it out using one of my Eco Tool brushes. I love this because it gives your skin a nice, natural finish, perfect for this look. And then I'm going in with the Butter Bronzer from the Physician's Formula and Casey Holmes Partner palette I love this so much if you haven't tried it you so need to next we're gonna go in with the mineral glow pearls blush which is in natural pearl and I like this because it's a natural pinky tone and I think that it's perfect and not too overpowering then we're going in with the butter highlighter in the shade pearl once again love their butter collection but I'm just putting a little bit of this on my cheekbones and then I'm going to be going in with my Tropical Days eyeshadow palette. So the first shade that we're using is Barefoot in Brazil, which is this nice light tan color. And this is going to go all the way from our lid to our brow bone. And then I'm going in with Sand Dunes, which is this darker brown. And that's going to simply be smoothed into the crease. And you want to take your time with this so that it doesn't look like kind of choppy. You want it to be nice and smooth. And then I'm going to take the same shade, Sand Dunes, and put it near my waterline. So what this does is it kind of makes a more dramatic look and then I noticed that there was a break in the foundation so I just put Barefoot in Brazil over the top of the lid again. Next I'm going back in with the butter highlighter and I do this in every single makeup tutorial and this is just where I put it in the corner of my eyes. I feel like one it makes you look more awake and two it seriously just ties your look together and then we're going in with the Organic Wear Mascara which is Lash Boosting. I love this so much too because it is very natural, it doesn't clump and I feel like it pulls everything together nicely. Then I'm getting the Healthy Lipstick in the shade Bear With Me from Physicians Formula and this is a natural-ish kind of bold color. It's not too bold so I liked it for this look. And lastly we are going to use the Rose All Day Setting Spray. This is an illuminating setting spray so it really gives you that nice dewy finish. And now it is time for us to do the hair. So we want to start with a somewhat middle part. If your hair is not naturally middle parted, this might be a little bit difficult for you. But the first thing that we're going to do is take out some pieces that we're going to make into bangs. If you have bangs, great. For those of us that don't have bangs, this is what we're going to do. So I am taking a small section from each side of my head and I'm going to tie the rest back in kind of a little pigtail. And pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to section this off so that we can mess with it later in the video. But when you are picking your pieces, you don't want too big pieces, but you don't want too little pieces because we're not trying to, you know, fry our hair off. That's just not what we're trying to do here. So when you pick out your pieces, you want to leave those out in front and tie the rest of your hair back. Once you have your two pieces, you're going to leave those there. And then the next step is to get to braiding. So if you don't know how to three strand braid, I'm going to kind of talk you through it. There's better tutorials on YouTube, but I've been doing this for literally years. So you want to brush out all your hair to make sure that there are no tangles. And then you're going to divide the section into three separate sections. So me personally, because these are going to be buns, I'm not too worried about them being super even. They can be, they don't have to be. So pretty much what you do is you bring the left strand over the center strand and then the right strand over the left strand and you repeat that the whole way. You want to leave some ends on the bottom because what we're going to do is this next step called pancaking the braid. So we're going to tie this off and then when we tie it off, we're going to pull our braid apart. No, this is not going to ruin your braid. So don't worry about that. It is all groovy. So you're going to basically pull apart your braid. So the two outermost strands just keep pulling and pulling and pulling until you get the desired size that you want. So in a way, this like flattens the braid, but it also gives it more dimension. So when you are done pancaking your braid, then you're going to tie it off with a clear elastic because these keep it more secure. The other hair ties that we use, that is just simply, it's a placeholder. You don't have to worry about it. Don't gotta worry too much. So you're just gonna tie this off with an elastic band. And if you're like me and you get your bangs stuck, you just gotta, you know, pull those out. It'll be okay. So now we've done this side. It's gonna be done in this side and now. All right, we got our braids. Next step is to basically make kind of little space buns. 
So really all I did was I wrapped it around. I don't own bobby pins, so I just use hair ties, and it works just as well. You might have to do it a couple of times before you get it right, but that is okay. So now that we have our little space buns in the back that are full of braids and we're looking cute, now it's time to do something about these front pieces. So for this, I'm going to be using my Sutra Curling Wand. I love this so much. This is so amazing. So as you can see, I kind of missed the barrel, but I'm blind, so don't judge me. But I'm just going to wrap this around and hold it for about five seconds and then you're just going to pull it off make sure that you're holding the end of the hair as you're pulling it off and then you can kind of mess with it and you know put your own vibe into it if you're going to take it apart stretch it out curl it more it's honestly just up to you but for me personally I like these curls and I've been doing these curls for eons literally eons if you guys want to test out this curling iron I will have a link down in the description box below because I honestly love 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 how it curls my hair and this is one of the curling irons that curls my hair the fastest literally the fastest that it's ever done in my entire life and if anyone has tried to fix my hair or curl my hair you know what a pain my hair can be it is seriously like impossible to do anything in a timely manner now it is time for the outfit. So as you guys can see, I was wearing my hashtag selfie shirt and now we are in Taylor Swift folklore mode. So this outfit consists of a little bit of a white nightgown kind of deal that I found randomly in my closet. Don't judge me. But then on top of it, I am wearing the cardigan that Taylor Swift sells in her store for the folklore line. I love this cardigan so much. It is so, so, so comfortable. I cannot express this to you guys. I really hope that you guys can each get one because it is seriously amazing. And as you can see, as I run into frame, we are just going to do a little bit of a montage. So on this montage, I really just want to show you guys how fun it is to kind of transform into someone else for a little bit. And I really feel like this brought out my younger self when I first discovered Taylor Swift's music. I love the hair, love the makeup. I love how she has evolved over the years. And I honestly look up to her so much, especially in the political aspect. If you guys don't know her politically, you might want to do so during these crazy times. But I love this so much and I really think that they really hit the mark with the space buns or like the little buns in the back because it's not all about being glammed up and showing all the money that you have. It's really about working with what you've got and making it work. So like I said, as my dog keeps coming into my frame and a random plastic bag ruined my shot, I just really love this so much. And I want you guys to know that I really enjoyed making this video for you guys. I love you guys so much. And with all that being said, I will see you guys soon.